Oh, you should have prepped me ahead of time. Do I do most of my shopping locally? Probably 50-50. Probably be local. I don't do online. A bit of mixed online and locally. I do shop local. I like uh, the Hobnobber on 33rd Street. Yes, local wherever there's not too many crowds. <laughs> I do try to do most of my shopping locally. I do uh, shop uh, locally. I'm heading into Glitch. Then I'm going to go across the street. Hobnobber I love. Me, I'm more of like a Walmart person. But my best place to go is right here at Kicks and Fits. My favorite shops are like little gag gift shops. I usually go to like Giant Tiger. Favorite place to shop, honestly, is Amazon. Favorite place to locally shop is uh, the local bookstores, turning the tide off Broadway. I've always wanted to shop locally, but it's been sort of like hard on a fixed budget. Now that I have grown and evolved fiscally and emotionally over the last few years, I really put an emphasis on local shopping. Strangest thing that's ever happened to me over the holidays. Oh, oh, uh, God. Oh. Uh, um, a couple of Christmases ago, my brother, my older brother, almost went to jail around the holiday season. When I was backing up out of a vehicle, I accidentally hit somebody. I knocked all her groceries over. <laughs> and I ended up giving her um, whatever she wanted. Like I gave her, uh, I think I gave her about $200. A big ceramic Santa Claus fell on top oh. of my head and cut it open and there was blood all over the floor. So she got attacked by Santa. We did a fear factor challenge. It's supposed to result in lots of fun. Unfortunately, it resulted in a few Tears. Probably a snowstorm that I got caught up in. My uncle went out for a jog on Christmas. He did not return. They had to go search for him because he was a city boy who couldn't get around the farm. Somebody left like a party tray in the backseat of my car and like I didn't realize for like two and a half weeks it started smelling like garlic and like you know old uncles like after the holiday day. <laughs> I'm a traditionalist. I always do things the same way. <laughs> this year I'm going back home to the Caribbean for the Christmas. Maybe, maybe a fake Christmas tree. Oh yes, of course. This, this is big because this is my first time ever. We're actually, I'm actually driving my 80 year old parents, my husband and I down to Yuma, Arizona. So this is the first time in 30 years I will not be spending it with my four children. I don't think I plan on doing anything different. We get together out at my daughter's farm and do sleigh rides and fires. The previous few years, we've had very few people to celebrate the holidays with. Um, I know that this year I am planning to throw my own holiday party, so I won't be sitting at the kids' table this year anymore. I'll be at the helm of my own holiday joy. I am going to decorate like an elf. I didn't have much decorations last year, so I'm going to go all out and get all the lights and tinsels and balls and put them everywhere.